Hello, boys and girls. Now it's time for us to make our um, vest out of paper bag. Remember the uh, Princess Elizabeth? She put on a paper bag that she had found. So you find a large paper bag. This is the largest paper bag I found in my house. So you find a large paper bag. And then I'm going to show you how your mommy can cut it. Now you cut the sides right here, this side, and you cut this side. And then you cut a hole at the top for your head. Of course, this is not going to fit me. So as you see, I cut this side and this side. This, but I left this piece right here so it can stay on. And then I cut a middle for the head. Now, if you go on Class Dojo, Sam did his a little different, but he did it, right? Right, there's no um, perfect way of doing this. What, what, whatever your creativity will allow you to, um, to cut your bag. Maybe you want to make a, a um, apron or, or maybe just an apron waist side. But whatever you want to do, it would be perfect. So I'm going to bring the camera down and you're going to see how I decorate my bag. I'm not going to finish the whole project on camera because that could be a little bit boring. But I'm going to start it and then I'll show you what the finished project looks like. Okay? So let me bring my camera down. There you go. So now you just see my hands. So these are the pieces that I cut from my bag and my little table here. I have a board here because I know it can get messy. And I have some roll-on confetti glue. I have my, of course, tacky glue. I have my roll-on confetti glue. My tacky glue. I have some chalk. I have some little sequence little thingies here. I have some glitter. Glitter and some markers. Crayons and some tissue paper. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be, or try to be, creative. Okay, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So, I think I'm going to work on my front of the bag. And that's the part that has the flap. So, let me um, use a marker. I'm going to use red, because I like red. So, I'm just going to just kind of... Maybe I'll use different colors. I don't know. I like red, so I always start with red because that is my favorite color. Let me quit. You don't necessarily have to do the back side, it's up to you. Now I'll use green. I'm going to mix some green in here. Need a little music, right? Okay. All right. Maybe I'll take some blue. Or purple, whatever this is. Purple. Kind of fill in some of the spaces. You do what you want on your back. Go up the middle. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to take some tacky glue. My tacky glue. Let's see if I can take the chalk. Maybe I'll take the chalk. Oh, yeah. I think I like the chalk too. 
It'll help fill in some of the spaces. And the chalk will be messy and it probably won't stay unless I use some spray stuff to keep the chalk on there. I think I got some spray stuff. Oh, I do. Hold up a minute. Oh, I have some workable fix it that I could um, put on the bag to kind of hold the chalk on here I've already had it so I'll spray that later all right once it um, dries so now I'm going to take my tacky glue and I'm just going to come on out there and put some little spots And I'm going to take these little sequency things here that I have here. And I'm just going to put it on there. Little sequency things. You know, these things I've already got to have in my house because I like arts and crafts. I started on something like this. I guess I could start finishing it now. I just took an old vase and I said, okay, let me make the vase into something different so I'm kind of recycling this old vase what do you think yeah and I'm at the beginning stages so maybe I'll have time to well I know I'll have time to finish it I'll let you know so I'm going to stick that on there and um I know the tacky glue will keep these on. Okay, put them on here. Just different colors. Move that there, there, and there. Then I'm going to take some, um, I think I'm going to take some glitter. And kind of put it around there. And I'm just going to do the front page. I mean the front side of the uh, the bag. Because it will take too long to do the back. I'll do the back la later. And I'm going to take some of this roll on confetti glue. And hopefully it will come out. Okay come on. Maybe I won't. I guess not. So that's okay. That's all right. So I'm just going to put some more tacky glue. Come on out. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm just going to put it all over the bag. Yeah, see that? I'm going to sprinkle some more glitter and it's going to have to sit to dry. So you can't put it on. Although it's too small for Mrs. King anyway. Just be creative. I had, uh, I have no direction on where I'm going with this. I'm just having fun. And that's the important thing. You just gotta have fun. Fun! Fun while you're inside. Fun, 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 fun. Okay. I'm not professional, like you see on TV. I'm just little Mrs. Old, Mrs. Old, little little Miss Old King, trying to have fun 
while I'm kind of stuck in the house. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take this, sprinkle it all over. So, there's my bag right there. As soon as I spray this, I'm going to spray it now. I'm going to have to move away from it because uh, this is not good stuff to smell. Spray it to keep the chalk on. And don't forget, you can do the back too if you wish. Okay? Alright, I'll post the picture of it on Class Dojo and on my website. Take care. Don't forget to do your bag and post it. It's part of your homework for next Wednesday. Bye. I mean, if you do it sooner, post it. We want to 